The gates to hell are gilded with... No, that's not right. I know there's a saying about hell. Or is it? Ah, yes. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Conference chair, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests, and fellow jungle escapees. I had every good intention to go to bed early last night so that I was bright and breezy to write this speech this morning. But I didn't. Two o'clock in the morning came and went. <sighs> I had every good intention yesterday to clear up my desk of all this paperwork and crap that's covering it. But it's still a mess. You see, good intentions are an important part of the life of a procrastinator. Without them, us procrastinators would not have anything to worry about. And worry is an important part of the procrastinator's life. I'm sure you all know the definition of procrastination. Yeah? It's this. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can put off until the following day. Well, I have a gold medal in the art of procrastination. In fact, I can claim to be the original procrastinator. It all started at school. There's no need to do any studying yet. There's plenty of time before the exams. And then the exams are coming this week and I have to cram a year's study into one week. Then I grew up and I ventured into the world of work. Here, of course, deadlines come and deadlines go. And if you're not on the ball, you're soon left behind in the corporate jungle. Not a good place for an ace procrastinator to be. However, after 25 years of scraping by at the last minute for any important deadline, I somehow or another succeeded and was even promoted to my level of incompetence. <laughs> Which, of course, was the ideal opportunity to procrastinate at the very highest level. So where is this taking us all today? Well, I have to take you back in time to the summer of 2021, when I was invited to join a few of my esteemed colleagues in the Toastmasters jungle here in Walla Walla Rulawu. Before we set out into the wild unknown, we were given a few projects to undertake. And we had lots and lots and lots of time to do them. Uh, I have plenty of time. I don't need to worry about this for months and months and months. Well, five months to be precise. Oh dear, you should never give a procrastinator so much time. It's just asking for disaster. And so it came to pass. The competition is coming up in just a few short days. And I have only just now realised that uh, I'm in trouble again. So there's nothing for it but to knuckle down and write a speech that's going to be so popular that I will be inundated with calls to give keynote speeches to every conference around. The only trouble is, 
I have the faintest idea of what to say. I have procrastinated for so long that I've completely forgotten what the challenge was. And after five months in the jungle trying to find the way out with only my iPad to keep me company and my pesky campmates being so damn clever with all their witty comments, I just don't know where I am. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been to the gates of hell. And I can tell you that, as an arch procrastinator, the gates are nothing to write home about. You see, having procrastinated for so long, when I reached the gates, I found that I was too late, and that all my colleagues had gone through already, and the gates were now closed. There was nothing for it but to return to civilization as best I could, so that I could present to you this small tribute to my late lamented colleagues. Conference Chair.